Hello, I'm the man behind the spooky shadow. On tonight's episode of The Witching Hour, Dracula. You may have seen one around town, in the park, in the supermarket, or even your bathtub. Dracula's sightings are at an all-time high, which begs the fundamental question, how many Draculas are there, and is our blood safe? Viewer Mark Anderson from Encino, California writes, I don't want to lose my blood. What are the most effective methods for killing a Dracula? Well, that's a very good question, Billy, and I'll get to that. But first you must understand your enemy. Dracula. Dracula Bella Lugosi is a species of hellish hell fiend that our witching our science team believes is closely related to the walrus. Why, you ask? Because of those big teeth. Coincidence? I think not. Five to seven Dracula are believed to inhabit every medieval castle, hiding behind curtains and potted plants, waiting to leap out at inopportune moments. Draculas are attracted by the color orange, quickly flashing lights, and rivers of blood. So the next time you bring your orange strobe light for a rave on Blood Lake, think again, or you could be a... Statistic. Getting back to Gerald's question, killing a Dracula is like riding a bicycle. Incredibly difficult. It's a pantheon of scrapes and bruises and shattered pride. You'll have to procure a church or similar holy building and drop it on a Dracula from a great height. Other so-called methods of slaying a Dracula are hit and miss at best. Holy water merely dampens them, and they are actually quite fond of garlic. It may be very difficult to kill a Dracula, but many preventative measures can be taken to protect your family's blood. Avoid spooky areas that may or may not be graveyards, woods, or the like. Cover your neck with multiple scarves and or ascots. Draculas will find this tacky and avoid you at all costs. Say no to peer pressure. Do not become a Dracula or fraternize with Draculas at shindigs, bashes, or galas. So, are we safe? No, no we aren't. Never leave your home. This is the man behind the spooky shadows saying, Stay fearful, dear viewer. Stay fearful. All right, coffee break. Mm. On the next witching hour, do chupacabras celebrate Hanukkah? Maybe.